seconds. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm working, sneaking in a couple stitches. Today's been a day. It is a gloomy, cloudy Wednesday, and I'm tired, but I'm gonna power through these last few hours, and I'm gonna knit tonight, and that's, it's getting me through it. I'm gonna knit. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good one, a more upbeat day than me. <laughs>
friends. It is like 10.15 on Wednesday, October 6th. I'm about to go to bed. Um, I didn't film a ton today. Today was just kind of, eh. It was a busy work day, but I did just do a little bit of knitting. So after work, I came home and I made some dinner and watched a couple episodes of Squid Games. I don't know, that popular show on Netflix right now with my husband. So we watched a little bit of that. I cast on a pair of socks and then I've been working on my love note. Made some progress. So I have four rows left of the solid blue and then I will start my blue and variegated fade. These two are both Dream and Color Smushy, so there's cashmere in them, so they're really, really nice. Um, I need to wind that into two. So I worked on my love note a little bit. Um, tomorrow is Thursday. Um, I took off work on Friday to go to Arkansas Yarn Co. for the West Knits Mal Cast On Party. Um, and then I'm staying in Hot Springs Friday night and Saturday working at the yarn store, which is fun. I love, love weekends at the yarn store. Um, so I'm excited about that. I really just wanted to have the sweater a ton. I wish it wasn't 10, 15 at night so I can knit on it more, <laughs> but I need to try it on again. Now that I've got some body, it's really bunched up on all this cord, but I'm gonna try it on in a second. Um, last thing though, before I go to bed, I got my Yarnable box in the mail. So I'll show you guys. So if you don't wanna see that, good night. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I will see you tomorrow. But if you do wanna see that, then here I go. So this month is the October month. And it says, Pumpkin Patch is brought to you by Hayrides, Boot Weather, and Pumpkin Spice Everything. So there's a little mini jigsaw puzzle. It says it's a micro puzzle. It's really cute. It says like happy fall and it has some pictures of the yarn on it. That's really cute. And then a pumpkin spice bath bomb, which I think I'll give to Kristen. I don't know, I may keep it. I don't take baths. So I'll see if Kristen wants a second one. Um, and a tote bag, which is really cute that says Nitrovert. I love a tote bag. That's adorable. That's very Kristen too. She gets this herself. She already gets yarnable, so she doesn't need my goodies, but that's really cute. Um, I'm gonna see if Gina wants that tote bag. She might like that. And the yarn. The best part. I already took it out of the little bag, but this colorway is called Pumpkin Patch, and I get her plush sock in the 8515 Superwash Merino Nylon. And it looks like a pumpkin patch. There's that good old pumpkin orange, some green. It's kind of a minty green, but there's speckles of a darker green in there too, and kind of a yellowy. I really like that. I think I could see myself casting that on soon. Although now any yarn that I have that's not high twist, I just think should be a Musselberg. Shouldn't that be a Musselberg? <laughs> not that I need to make a single other Musselberg. Last night I caked up December's Yarnable for a Musselberg, and I'm excited to cast that on. I'm holding off a little bit, but that's gonna be a gift. So that's all I've got. Not a super exciting day, but tomorrow I work my normal shift, my 9 to 6. So I'll have a little more time in the evening, um, and I don't know what I'll do. Anyway, I've been rambling now, so I'm gonna go to bed, but I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good night.